What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new 2-in-1 WWE Ultimate Edition review and I guess it's not more of a 2-in-1 but it is a WWE Ultimate Edition 2-pack on the WWE Coliseum Collection Ultimate Edition Series Number 2 Jake the Snake Roberts and Ravishing Rick Rude figures. Now these are Mattel Creations exclusives. I don't know if they're still up for order. I imagine they are. I even think Series 1 is still up for order. I could be wrong about that. However, these do come in a pack similar to what we saw in Coliseum Collection Series Number 1 with Hulk Hogan and Terry Funk. They are back again with our second pack, and I'm excited for them. I think we're going to get in for some killer figures here. Now, one thing to note is it does come in a box shipper that has the classic block WWE logo on there, and then it does come in another box. So you should expect to have a box within a box within a box when you do receive this. And before we proceed any further, guys, I do want to give a huge shout-out to our patrons over there for the MDT YouTube channel. A huge shout out to Adam Stone, Rob Ritchie, and Mattia Vitali for being signups yesterday for our MDT Patreon. Huge shout out to those guys. If you guys are interested in that, link in the description below to become a patron of the MDT YouTube channel. Huge shout out to our new members. But today, man, we do have Ravishing Rick Rude and Jake the Snake here. As you guys can see, it's just like the same packaging we saw with Coliseum Collection Series number one. You have Jake the Snake and Ravishing Rick Rude on one side. You have Jake the Snake as a poster, Ultimate Edition logo, and then Ravishing Rick Rude on the other side. And then if you take a look at the top of the package you guys will see the insignia there kind of playing on both guys and I think that's really awesome. I love the way they do that. I think it's very unique. A lot of these new figures we're getting nowadays, especially the exclusives and the crazy over-the-top stuff, it tends to be more of an experience, not only just getting figures, sort of, you know, it's like opening brand new sneakers. And also, there's a horse fly loose in this room, and I've tried to kill him for four days, and he keeps getting away. So if you see him just fly by, I do apologize. Maybe we'll get his ass in this video. Nonetheless, man, let's crack Ravishing Rick Rude and Jake the Snake Roberts out of this packaging. See what we got, and see how they compare to the rest of our Elite. Jake the Snakes and Ravishing Rick Rude and how they fit into our Ultimate Edition collections. Alright guys, so when you unbox this, this actually has zero tape on it. So this box right here that they come in, you flip it open, you guys can see it says Jake the Snake Roberts in red and then versus Ravishing Rick Rude in white and they have offsetting text. Also have the block logo here on the fold and when you open it up, you guys will see that they have the classic WWE fans here with the ring and everything and then just like Coliseum Collection number one, they have the figures individually packaged here and and they look damn good, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. They look fantastic. I love the way this looks. I mean, to be fair with you, you know, uh, we, we kind of saw this figure already. It just was an Ultimate Edition, and then we didn't have a bendy wire for Damien. However, it's a very cool pack. You know, these are supposed to be based on their original LJN figures, and then you do have the really cool background piece here that says Coliseum Collection, and then it's got the classic ring there, and on the other side, it's got the classic WWE logo. You know, it's so crazy how just that panda bear came in and effed up all of our historical accuracy involving the WWE logo when we get flashback stuff. Just insanity. But you get the background cardboard piece, you get Jake the Snake here in his beautiful packaging. You have Coliseum Collection at the top. It's got a picture of Jake here. You got the beautiful image of Jake. You got Ultimate Edition here. Jake the Snake Roberts. And just like the last time, these are removable so you don't have to like tear anything. And on the back here you got a nice bio read, little punch out card, Ultimate Edition, WWE logo, accessories included, posable Damien, and snake bags, swappable heads, hands, twist them, turn them, battle them, the ultimate collection, there's series one, and then you got Rick Rude and Jake the Snake there, and of course you can, again, you like slide this background up, you like slide it up and you can remove the figures from the packaging, but before we do that, I want to get ravishing Rick Rude out here, because I think I'm going to like the Rick Rude figure more, so pulling him out here, you guys can see Coliseum Collection, WWE logo, and then you have ravishing Rick Rude in all his glory, brand new torso here used on, on ravishing Rick Rick Rude. I expect us. I think this is the same torso they're using on the Seth Rollins we got coming. I think it's the same torso probably on a new Finn Balor maybe. We have the, the original tights here. I want to say, we saw this in the flashback basic line. It was the Build-A-Figure J.J. Dillon wave. We saw this. It was actually the Howard Finkel Build-A-Figure set, you dumb son of a bitch. Zach the Tire, I'm pretty sure. I think I have the basic in my crowd of all things, but there's Rick Rude, you know, Ultimate Edition Ravishing Rick Rude. Then you flip it over. You got uh, the same punch-out cards. Got a little bio read. You got you know, accessories included, and then same thing as the Jake, but these look awesome, man. I mean, just the whole idea behind it is fantastic, and I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, Coliseum Collection Series number 3 is going to be revealed to us at WrestleMania Axis. Also, Steve Ozer said that his favorite Ultimate Edition ever is going to be revealed at WrestleMania Axis, and also, 
I'm going to WrestleMania. So if you guys are going to be there, let me know down in the comment section below. I expect to meet some of you guys there, just like the Royal Rumble. I'm going to be vlogging the whole experience, doing the whole thing as, as always. But nonetheless, man, let's get Jake and Rick out of their packaging, and let's put them on the rotating base and take a look at what these guys look like. Actually, no, not yet. Not yet, because I want you guys to understand something. So when you get this Coliseum collection and you slide this out like so, if you guys were unaware, you're probably like, where the hell's the accessories? They're actually stowed away underneath the figure here. So if you open this up, you can uh, retrieve the accessories, and you guys can see accessories included inside. Uh, I hope to God nobody out there has just thrown this away on, on accident, but there is all of Rick Rude's accessories, and you guys can see the robe tucked under there, and then Jake the Snake is no different. And uh, I did order two of these. It was like 150 bucks, but uh, yeah, I, I did order two of these. So what I do for my men on court set, I don't even take them out of the shipper most of the time, but you take it out right there, and then you can see Jake the Snake Roberts, and then you can unveil his accessories, which are right here. So, with those things being said, man, let's, uh, I wanted to show the case that so you guys didn't think, you know, where the hell's the accessories? They're included in a little storage case underneath, so I thought you all were idiots. So here is Ravishing Rick Rude and Jake the Snake Roberts out of the packaging, man. I'm liking what I'm seeing, you know. I, I gotta be real with you, though. It does feel like we've seen a lot of this before, and I'll, of course, get into all of that with you, but I still like a lot of the things we got. I love the new inclusions. I like the packaging a lot, as always. Like, I love the Coliseum collection. Also, you like the blue and the rotating base. I think it tied in beautifully with the packaging. I thought that that matched pretty damn well. Also, update on my camera. Should be here Tuesday. So hopefully, we can uh, retire this camera and get back to the old one. I don't know. Maybe you guys like this one better. I don't know. However, we've been adjusting on the fly, man, but you guys know how these videos work. We're going to dive into the accessories first, then get into the figures themselves, but we're going to start things off with Jake the Snake. Robert's accessories and Jake the Snake, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Rick Rude's accessories and Ravishing Rick Rude. All right, man, so getting into Jake the Snake, Robert's Ultimate Edition accessories. A lot of stuff we've seen before from Jake the Snake. However, we get interchangeable heads, and we get a brand new Damien, and I think this Damien is easily the best Damien we have seen so far. I mean, just look at this precious face. No, but in all seriousness, look at this deco on this snake. I like how it has, like, that slimy kind of look to it. It's like in a gloss instead of a matte, and it looks really good how it's, like, all kicked on there. You guys can see all the snake detail in here. Very quality, but that's not even the best part, man. You have all the scales running all the way down, but in this figure, this is a figure. I said figure because it's a figure, man. This has a bendy wire in it, so you can legitimately coil this snake up like it's hibernating in the effing winter in a, in a damn tree somewhere, man. Like, you can absolutely wrap this guy up. You can wrap him around Jake. I've already posed him around a little bit here, and this is just the beginning of what you can do, man. I mean, he is highly, highly posable. Very sweet for them to put a bendy wire in here. Maybe this is the beginning of just putting bendy wires in other things. Maybe we can get some bendy wires in some, in some hoods or some capes or something like that in the future, but this is a great start. Love the Damien. This might be my favorite accessory in the entire pack. I think I'm pretty clear on saying that in my brain. I'll have to sleep on it. No, I'm not sleeping on it, Brad. This is easily my favorite accessory outside of maybe the kissing face for the Rick Rude. This is my favorite accessory we've gotten today in this pack. Now, outside of that, we also get a cloth goods accessory with Jake the Snake, and it is the bag that Damien comes in. Now, I haven't tried to fit him in here, but I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I feel like it would be almost impossible to put him in this bag. Like, you could probably, like, ball him up. I don't really want to mess up my bendy wire, but I think you might be able to, like, ball him up into a tiny ball and then sh just shove him down in here. Maybe. I don't know. It's gonna be it's gonna be a tight squeeze, though, you know, once you get him in there. I mean, you might be able to get him in there. It's very close so far. You may not be able to get him in there, but, you know, you can, like, touch... <laughs> I, maybe the bag should have been a little bit bigger, but, you know, you can draw string it up and tighten it, and then you have a little, you know, snake bag, or, I mean, you could use it for a hundred things, but it's a nice light green, like, felt-style material, and it's a cool accessory, it's just not as cool as Damien over here, which, uh, I may have effed him up by balling him up, but the bag should be big enough to fit Damien in, but it's not, so. Now, as always, these are Ultimate Editions, so we do get three interchangeable head sculpts with Jake the Snake. This is the first one. We have the smiley face here. Kind of reminds me of, like, it kind of has a mean Jean look and slightly a Dale Earnhardt kind of look to it. But I'm not getting a ton of Jake the Snake. It's not egregiously bad, but it's not my favorite Jake the Snake. I feel like his flashback figure, like, done with true effects would have been better, but here is the pissed-off head sculpt. We've seen this before in the Legends wave, and I think the Legends 
way may have been painted a little bit differently or better. I don't know. We can compare it in the next shot or when we do that. But I don't know, man. I'm just not really feeling these. But these are very, very similar as well. Like one eyebrow slightly lifted. And then this is the Legends head sculpt. And this one has more likeness to Jake. But I'm still like, I don't, I don't know, man. I feel like a grimacing or a pissed off. Like these aren't like terrible, but they're not great. I, I think Rick Rude clears in this aspect of, of both figures. I'm just not really a fan of these head sculpts. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get the interchangeable fisted hands. You get interchangeable choke slamming hands or Damien holding hands. These do really well at holding Damien because they're slightly wider and I'm glad they didn't give him Mike holding hands because he would have been a bish to hold. So this is a good call by Mattel giving us choke slamming hands. And last but not least, you get pointing fingers to tell people to shut the hell up. Alright guys, so getting into Jake the Snake's head sculpt, uh, we already took a look at it. I just, I'm, I like this one the most, alright? I like this one the most probably. The smiling one's not bad either, but I think that this one is my favorite one of the three Jake the Snakes, but uh, it sits pretty well on the shoulders. The head sculpts are a bit big, and they always give Jake the, the, the like really, really long legs and the short torso. And going down into the torso, pretty sure we've seen this before. It's kind of wild because on his other elites, like we have seen a few different formulas for Jake the Snake, and they've given him the ripped up torso before that they gave Rick Rude here. I don't think that was the best one to use. I actually like my Jake the Snake a little bit chunkier. I think it's more accurate, but I think they could have probably used the Shawn Michaels fan takeover torso, refurbished that. They probably could have used those bigger torsos. You know, using this torso, I think this is the same torso they used for Razor Ramon. I don't know why they chose to do that. I guess it's not a huge deal. It's just I've seen people fix it up with better torsos and it looks a lot better. So, you know, it's just something to think about. But he does have double jointed arms here. He's got white wrist tape. He's got the butterfly joints in there. We'll go over the articulation. But this is the bright green trunks that we saw with that Legends figure before. You got the purple or pinkish style Damien snakes going down the sides and they are outlined in red. Very cool gear, you know. I mean, it's not like groundbreaking or earth shattering, but it's still solid gear. And then Jake the Snake has some of the best boots in the game. He's got the snake skin on there and he does have the ultimate edition toe articulation, but Jake the Snake has always had great boots and you guys know I'm a sneakerhead, so I love boots and, you know, attires and action figures style stuff and uh, that plays into it here. I love this. It looks, it looks pretty damn good, but my biggest gripe with it's probably the head sculpts, but I like the way the figure moves around. Like, he feels really quality in hand. You guys know that he does have drop down hips here so you can like kick that like way up there and then if you drop down the other one he can big boot the hell out of somebody. You get the drop down hips you get the double jointed knee. That knee feels really loose for some reason but boots swivel you get the angles down you get the toe pivot there. He can do the split seats. You know the ab crunch isn't the greatest on the ultimate editions but you do get all this diaphragm movement here. Arms can go above 90. I'm pretty sure the arms still pop out. Maybe they don't. I'm pretty sure they do though. You get the bicep swivel. You get the great butterfly joints that come across here and they reach way back so he can do pretty much any pose you want and uh, while we're doing articulation we might as well get Damien in here and just kind of showcase a little bit of what this guy can do because when you pair them both together I mean I know I showed you a little bit but you can legitimately wrap him around Jake the Snake right here and you can have him you know just coil up around his arms and stuff like that so you can have him here and he can wrap around the arm there wrap around the arm there and like fold back here and then you can take this arm and he can wrap around this arm and come back through here. Of course, I'm just messing around with it, but you can get him in some great poses is what I'm trying to say. You know, you can have him hold him right there, wrap him around right there. And this is just in like 30 seconds of trying to pose this guy around. I, you guys saw him on the rotating base and you'll see him later on in the video on the rotating base, but you can get him in all kinds of poses. But this Jake the Snake is fire and uh, it's just set the head skulls. But for your Jake the Snake figure comparisons, here is our Legends Target exclusive. You have the Coliseum Collection. You have the Flashback Greatest Hits. So this is not the Flashback. This is the Greatest Hits version. And then you do have the other Legends figure. So, and this doesn't include both Legends chases. This doesn't include the the throwback, like, Hall of Fame figure. It doesn't include the chat. Like, there is a lot of Jake the Snake figures out there. It's just wild to think about how many damn Jake the Snakes we have, man. It's kind of ridiculous. And then for more comparisons, here's the Rick Rude up next to the Jake the Snake, just so you guys can have an eyeball of kind of what they look like next to each other in this pack. And then for your Coliseum Collection comparison, here is Series 1 with Terry Funk and Hulk Hogan up next to 
Jake the Snake, and Ravishing Rick Rude. And now we're just awaiting our Series 3, man. Very excited again to, to find out what that is, but it is cool to see these all ne up next to each other, just seeing all these ultimates form here in these epic packs. Collector's dream come true. All right, guys, so getting into Ravishing Rick Rude's accessories, you get three interchangeable head sculpts just like Jake the Snake. You get some cloth goods just like Jake the Snake, probably arguably better, but you don't get a pet snake, obviously, with Ravishing Rick Rude. Now, as far as this head sculpt is concerned, this is the main one that comes on it in the pack. Packaging. And this is one we've seen before. I think this is the Elite 40 Rick Rude head sculpt, except it's not as cartoony, but it is the exact same sculpt. Same hair, same exact facial expression and everything like that. This is my least favorite, and it's because it's just a refurbished old head sculpt. Now, with the price of this two-pack, you would think we'd get three brand new ones. It's been so long since this figure came out, you'd think we'd get a brand new one. And we do get a couple brand new ones. This one looks insane. I love the, the kissy duck face. Rick Rude right here. The eyes look perfect. The mustache is perfect. The hair is perfect. Looking like Billy from Stranger Things over here. It looks magnificent, man. I think these look so good, and so does the smirking one, man. Look at these head sculpts, man. This is what we sign up for. I think these look way better than Jake the Snakes. I think Jake the Snakes were uh, just a little bit off the mark, but these nail it. I think both of these are great. I think the kissing face or the duck face is my favorite, but this smirking one's damn good as well. I'll probably pose him with the kissy face, and then I'll put this one on an older Rick Rude or something, but these are damn good. Now, outside of that, you also get a Ravishing Rick Rude robe, and try saying, try saying Ravishing Rick Rude robe five times fast. But on the back, you guys can see here, it says Simply Ravishing. It's got a kiss face or some lips there, and it's got it in silver and red, and it's got the collar on there. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same robe we saw as Elite 40 figure. So the same exact figure that had this robe came with this head sculpt. So we're getting a bit of reuse there. And then when you throw in the gear from the flashback basic, you know what I'm saying? You can kind of see where I'm coming from on things getting refurbished and like reused here, but we do get some newness and this is great in quality. You get the belt there. You guys saw what it looked like on the figure and I like it. I'll never complain about cloth goods. I just think in that ultimate edition, I think it would have been cool to see a newer one or a different robe or I, I don't know. I guess maybe, I don't know. I, I, maybe they didn't have any choices here or maybe they're just trying to keep it a certain way, but you know, it looks good. It's got the silver on there. It's pretty solid. And then for Rick Rude, you actually get four pairs of interchangeable hands, starting out with his fisted hands. You have the universal world going round, mic holding slash object holding or weapon holding the hands. You get your Kawhi Leonard Ricochet entrance hand shaking style hands, which are pretty solid, or the DX Chop It Suck It hands. And then you get the interlocking fingers behind the head style hands, or the throne sitting hands, or the praying hands. Lots of ways you can use these, but this is to put, you know, interlock his fingers behind his head, and he can, like, dance on you, so... Yeah, I like these hands. So getting into Rick Rude, man, I love this head sculpt. I think he looks fantastic. I, I am really digging the Rick Rude. I definitely like the Rick Rude better than the Jake the Snake. I just think overall, better aesthetic. I think it captures the character more. These head sculpts are phenomenal. But going down into this torso, this is a brand new torso. This is a torso we will see on the Ultimate Edition Series 17 Seth Rollins. And if you guys are seeing a differential in arms to torso, it's just the camera. It is not, that is not legitimate. So if you guys saw that on Jake the Snake, it's not the same either. That is just the camera. So they, it, in person, they look the exact same. I'm not seeing any differences like that, like, like I'm seeing on camera, but... He's got his anchor tattoo in there. Double jointed arms look good. He's got his bright pink, purple, black gear here, which actually comes about really good here in figure form. I think it looks really great. Colors pop off nice, and I, I'm digging it. And then he has some awesome boots as well, as you guys can see here in the pink, black, and white. And then he's got Simply on this side and then Ravishing over here. He does have the white outsoles with the toe pivot. And this Rick Rude isn't, again, man, both of these figures aren't going to set the world on fire. I think the Rick Rude might, because it's super fire. I don't know, it's just the Jake the Snake head sculpts really let me down. But here's Rick Rude. As far as ab crunch is concerned, you know, he can lean forward a little bit. He's not going to get that much in there, but you do get some nice details there. I love this torso. I want to see this torso for like a Finn Balor or something. But as far as figure comparisons for your Rick Rude, you have the Elite Series 77, I do believe is what it is. And he had a chase figure as well in like solid yellow, but uh, I don't think I ever found that one So I'm still hunting that one down, but these are pretty cool, you know, kind of two different eras I like the likeness here. Oh wait, I forgot one more Rick Rude There is one more Rick Rude that I forgot to grab We have our suited Rick Rude that they made way too short because they used that same damn suited body So, 
you know, it's just what it is. But uh, I don't know. I just, uh, yeah, the Ultimate's best. It really is. It's definitely best. I like the way it looks. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's cool to see these Rick Rudes up next to each other. And uh, I'm sure this won't be the last time we see Rick Rude. We're going to get plenty more Rick Rudes in the future. But it is cool to have an uh, Ultimate Edition Rick Rude. I think that's fantastic. And I think it fits right in there to the Ultimate Editions and plenty more epic Ultimate Editions to come. But I think that pretty much wraps up my WWE Ultimate Edition 2 in 1 Coliseum Collection Series number 2 review, man. At some point, my rotational base quit working. Like, I don't know if the battery's dead or what the hell the issue is, but I'll probably have it on loop or something like that while I talk, so I apologize for that. However, man, these figures are nice. I do appreciate them, and I understand what the line is supposed to represent, and I get that, you know, these are supposed to represent their LJN figures, their original looks, recreated in Ultimate Edition form, which I think is fantastic. I love that idea. However, I wish that they would have chose a different character other than Jake the Snake. And, I mean, Rick, Rick Rude awesome. I love Rick Rude. I love Jake the Snake. I just wish that it was in looks that we hadn't seen before in any other Mattel figure because we got this Jake the Snake in Elite form before in the Legends line not too, too long ago. I think it was like a year or two ago. There's actually a shish ton of Jake the Snake figures if you think about it, especially Elites. You throw in this Ultimate. But I, I, I love both characters. They're both iconic in their own ways. I just wish we would have picked two different characters. But I'm excited to see who's in Coliseum Collection number three. But if you guys are on the fence about these, should I get these? Should I not get these? I I would sell every other Jake the Snake. I don't know. I don't know if I'd sell every Jake the Snake. I'm not big on these head sculpts, to be honest with you, for Jake the Snake. I think the Rick Rude is the best Rick Rude they've even looked at. Easily a pickup uh, pick of the Rick Rude, man. Honestly, the Rick Rude might be worth it alone just to buy the set. And maybe you want to buy this set and sell the Jake the Snake and then keep one of your elite Jake the Snakes and then just put this Damien with it or something like that. But is this pack worth it? I think at the end of the day it is. When you consider all the things, I love the Rick Rude figure. I think it's beautiful. The head sculpts are chef's kiss. I think the body mold's great. I think it represents Rick Rude really well. The Jake the Snake figure is the same way. I love the way the Ultimate Edition actually looks on him. You know, not everybody can pull off the Ultimate Edition look, but I think both these characters do a great job. I love posing these guys around. I, I Say what you will about the gears. I like the Rick Rude gear. I've never had any issues with it, but we've seen this Jake the Snake in Elite form before, and I could have swore to God I had it. I can't remember if it was the Chase version or the regular version, if the Red was the regular version, but I couldn't find it and I could have swore I had both. I'm pretty sure I had both, but nonetheless, I like this set. The deposable Damien is amazing, man. I got it into some really creative poses. You can really post them around great with that bendy wire. That's, you know, that's Mattel having their finger on the pulse of the community, listening to what we want, listening to everybody out there, and I think that uh, I'm excited to see who's in Coliseum Collection Series 3. That is uh, something I'm most looking to at Access. Next to the crowdfund project, I am uh, just looking forward to who that's going to be and what we're going to get, man. I'm so pumped for WrestleMania. WrestleMania weekend, going to be a great time, but that is going to wrap up our Coliseum Collection Series number two, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are on these figures down in the comment section below. Also, if you guys are interested in becoming Patreon members, click the link in the description below. Also, if you guys are interested in merch, MDT merch is available on ProWrestlingTees.com. There's a store. Go grab a t-shirt. I greatly appreciate it. It helps support the channel. But thank you guys for watching. That is going to wrap up this Coliseum Collection Ultimate Edition 2-pack review on Rick Ravishing Rude, Rick Ravi Ravishing Rick Rude, and Jake the Snake Robert. One fun fact, just before we get out of here, at a pep rally, I think it was my sophomore or junior year, my my head football coach was talking, and he was introducing one of the captains, and we had these two brothers on our team. They were the Arrowhead brothers. Their last names were Arrowhead. Or Arrowhead. I think it was either Arrowhead or maybe it was Arrowwood. It was Arrowwood. What a dumb idiot. Not them, me, for calling them Arrowhead. What a stupid ass name, bro. Oh my god. Their last names were Arrowwood. And one of them's name was Jake Arrowwood. And our coach it, it had never ever once called this man by this nickname. But in the middle of a pep rally in front of the entire school, this man said, and introducing Jake the Snake Arrowwood, and me and my friends lost our minds because we were like, where in the hell did he ever pull that out of? Like, that made no sense, but I know it ain't got nothing to do with the review. I just like to think about it and say it. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed one. I'll see you guys next time, and I hope you guys appreciate these little antidote stories from MDT. We'll never back down. We will not relent.